Hey, this is Alan Curtis Meisner, otherwise known as the Dragon Mancer. And of course, this is the Lair of the Dragon Mancer. And of course, as ever with me are my lovely assistants, the Tortoise, the Mouse, and the Eagle. Now, basically, uh, one of the things that's uh, been on my mind, uh, and as of late, is uh, as things like cult classics cult phenomenons, and even, yes, cult followings. One of the examples of uh, cult following that uh, endures to this day would have to be, of course, Star Wars. Basically, basically, I've talked with individuals about the, uh, you know, the prequels to Star Wars. They said something about that uh, they were disappointed and I even get a kick out of uh, Carlos Mencia's response to that, that, well, the, he put it uh, much more bluntly and perhaps even blatantly, of course. I like to try to do things in a little bit more nice way, even if I can be firm sometimes. But you haven't seen me be firm yet, so just trust me, it'll come sooner or later. But, uh, basically, he puts it this way, that, uh, most of us were ten years old back when the original Star Wars uh, trilogy came out. And so, um, basically, yeah, everything was great when you're ten years old. Yeah, when you're ten years old, everything is great, because you don't exactly have the cares that you have uh, now. Like in my case, uh, 37. And, uh, but basically, Star Wars was a great uh, film about philosophy. Another uh, cult uh, classic would have to be the one that came some 10 years after A New Hope on Star Wars called Lost Boys. Now basically, you may, if you remember nothing else about it besides the fact that there's lots of vampires and lines like, You will never grow young. You will never die. But you must feed. And then there's also, uh, also Corey Feldman and um, Alan Zoolander. No, Alan was his uh, name. Edgar and Alan Frog, which I guarantee you they had to have been named after you know, after the respective names of Edgar Allan Poe. It had to have been. I guarantee that that was the case. But anyways, that's definitely an example. There's also a song that came out of it that officially became the uh, theme song, you know, that one, Cry, little sister, thou shalt not kill me. You, you, you get the song. You know which song I'm talking about. And then you roll forward to uh, the early years. Uh, it's like somewhere between the late 1990s and the early... Uh, years of the 21st century in which he would have a uh, dark comedy uh, show known as uh, Invader Zim, of which I have uh, seen quite a few episodes of that one. Classic line that seems to come from that one, I am Zim! And basically, basically, the uh, a uh, premise of that one is a uh, alien life form named Zim who has these big, huge bug eyes. And oftentimes, what happens is that he's uh, and he thinks that he's there to conquer, uh, get uh, planet Earth uh, ready to be uh, conquered, and basically his own ineptitude, his uh, malfunctioning robot Gur. And his, uh, uh, and, uh, Dib, uh, the guy with large eyes, is, who is the only, is one of the few humans attended of, enough to real, uh, to see the real, all, um, uh, 
what uh, Zim really is are basically the three things that uh, three main things among others that uh, it keeps uh, Zim from being able to evade and to uh, prepare Earth for invasion. So we're pretty much safe from uh, being invaded by the Urkins for now. And basically, uh, there are many different uh, different cultural icons or cult uh, classics that are out there and cult followings. Interestingly enough, uh, I look at the Lair of the Dragomancer and uh, the last uh, uh, time I checked, I find it interesting how uh, in just the uh, course of uh, the uh, uh, so the just barely over two years that uh, the Lair of the Dragonmancer answer has been on YouTube, that basically just in that amount of time, it's gone up to about I th last uh, count eleven thousand six hundred and. 51 views, I think it was. It's probably gone up uh, since then. And now I don't know if, uh, uh, if the day will ever come when the Lair of the Dragon Monster ever becomes a uh, cult uh, classic or even a cult phenomenon. But from what I have uh, noticed, there are a lot of individuals that have placed comments on my channel that have uh, pointed out that they believe it uh, could be big on YouTube. And, and so, yeah, I, um, like I said, I uh, don't know if uh, I'll ever see the day when, uh, and the I don't know if it'll ever uh, happen, but that would be cool if the Lair of the Dragomancer could be a, a, a that that it could be a a, a, a among the list of uh, cult uh, cult classics and cult phenomenons. Because basically, basically, there's a lot of really cool things here. Not only here, but also on the Facebook page, and also on the Twitter page, and you can even look on its uh, principal offshoot, the Terrazero Chronicles fan page. Not to mention Jin Dragon Mancer seventy five. That's on Deviant Art. But as ever. Uh, Ever, uh, thank you for watching, keep the views coming, and uh, by all means, feel free to comment on uh, the uh, chat on the shows that you see. Until then, take care.